Hey guys, my name is Terry. I'm an English teacher and a language learner. In this video, I want to talk about the three biggest mistakes I made when starting to learn a language. I have been learning languages for many, many years, but in the beginning, it was a complete disaster. Like everyone, I didn't know where to start. It was very frustrating. And I want to share with you my three biggest mistakes that I had when starting to learn a language. First mistake I had was listening or reading boring things, boring textbooks. In the beginning, I started with those bo traditional books you see in the shop, learn French in three months, learn Spanish in three months. I remember trying to read those textbooks and trying not to fall asleep or buying the newspaper in French or Spanish. And the same, it was so boring. It wasn't interesting for me personally. So sometimes I needed to force myself to study, to force myself to read something from the book. And it felt hard and it felt difficult. So the reality was it was boring and I started to avoid it. But what really changed for me was when I started to look for things that were interesting to me personally. Movies I really enjoyed, songs I really liked, websites that I really enjoyed personally. Taking your personal interests and combining them with the idea of study. Not the traditional textbooks, but things that are really interesting for you. The reality is if you read or watch something you think you should watch or read and it's boring for you, you will stop. Listen, read, or watch things that you love. The second mistake I made was trying to find time to study. Now, we all have busy lives, we all have responsibilities, and it's difficult to find time to study. After work, after university, you're tired and you just want to relax. And sometimes we make promises to ourselves. Okay, tonight or tomorrow I'm going to take my book and I'm going to study for one hour. And then after we don't find time and we feel bad. But what really helped me was when I started to combine my listening training, listening to audios in different languages, when I was already doing something else. For example, uh, two years ago when I was preparing to go to live in Italy and I was really busy, I was teaching a lot, I was working, making videos, very busy lifestyle. And the only time I had to train my Italian was when I was cooking or when I was cleaning the kitchen or cleaning the dishes. So every day I had it ready. I had my phone, I had my headphones ready with clips that I was interested in personally, not random, not like things that, uh, from a book or whatever, but specific things I really liked and I was ready every day. A lot of people feel, oh, I don't have time to study. You have a lot of time. If you are organized and prepare your clip, audio clips to train with things you like, you can train when driving to work, when on the bus, when cleaning your house, when exercising, in the, in the supermarket doing grocery shopping. I remember listening to Game of Thrones in French in the supermarket. Train your listening when doing something else. The third mistake I made was waiting to start speaking. So many people focus on reading and writing first and they wait until they have an opportunity to practice with a person before they start to train speaking or before they start speaking. Every high school in the world thinks reading and writing are more important than listening and speaking. What helped me have a high level with my languages was starting to train my speaking alone first. Starting to train my accent and train my speaking, sometimes repeating a word or a phrase maybe 10, 15, 20 times alone first. So that when I had the opportunity to practice my French or my Spanish, I was, I was ready. The phrases were already trained. That phrase, that sentence I wanted to use, I had already trained that phrase 10, 15 times speaking alone. Your tongue and your mouth are muscles that need to be trained. Just like an athlete that wants a good performance, they do not wait until the event to start training. They train alone first. So start to train your speaking alone. Repeat words and phrases 
until you feel your confidence grow and increase. And then when you have the opportunity to speak or to practice, you will feel 10 times more confident and more prepared to have better conversations. So those were the three biggest mistakes that I made when I was learning a language. I hope you like it. If you like it, please give a thumbs up, share with your friends, let your friends know about it. Please comment what do you think is a mistake people make and what is the better way to learn a language. So comment what's a common mistake people make and what's the better way, okay? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in another video.